Okay guys, welcome back to this one, Magic and Mayhem, and uh, what we're actually going to be doing today is we're going to animate uh, the process, the uh, making, oh, the making of the AE2 inscri uh, processors. Uh, and before we do that, I just want to show you guys what I've done. I've uh, finished getting everything, uh, well, all the places in our uh, trauma dislocation, and I made Draconic uh, Sword, uh, Pickaxe, Shovel, axe, uh, armor, and it looks different. Uh, like the other one was kind of blue. This is orange, and it looks it looks better. And I also made uh, the uh, first capacitor and the bow. And uh, I have actually got a so shard that we're gonna use in a spawner of spiders because yeah, we need that. And yeah, I don't know why I showed you that, but okay. So that's pretty much what I made off camera. Um, I haven't really done anything else. <laughs> haven't even worked on the house yet. Oh, that's a little bit loud. Hold on. Um. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, I do have a drawer here. And what we're going to be doing today, uh, is we need about... By the way, these, are uh, draconic pickaxes, or, like, t tools, uh, can go up to 7x7. Seven uh, even though it's kind of buggy when you get to sub by seven, it like it when you mine it, it doesn't do what like it, you would think you want to mine the middle, but you don't. I might show you guys what I'm talking about, but um, like they have all kinds of things like um, let me show you guys like this. The helmet has night vision, but it's kind of buggy if you're underground and running. Um, I don't exactly know why. And then this has flight where you can't like like if you have flight, like you see how I just double jump and I um. I go into flight mode, well, it just stays in flight mode and I can't double jump, which kind of sucks. You got a speed multiplier boost when sprinting falls, and I'm also going to do that here. You got hill step, which is actually, like, if we just open that, we can just walk up blocks now, which is what I wanted, and that's freaking cool. So, yeah. Um, this bow we have, I mean, uh, this axe. Okay, so, I... Toggled the tree bow to see what it was. I figured that it was where you just chopped down the whole tree. I was correct. Uh, so like the lumber axe from Tina's Construct cannot chop down one of those major redwood trees. Don't underestimate this because I did it and it chopped it down and I might have lagged out the server. So good thing I had Opus uh, open before I did that so I could delete the stacks of it. Um, like, if we go, I chopped down two of those trees, and, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so, that's, so, it, it has tree mode, and then, uh, dig speed, like, no. This has void junk, which you can, like, if you mine certain things, you can, uh, do it. And so, the same thing, uh, the pickaxe has the same thing, which I actually do have. As it has void junk true, and then inventory, this is where you, uh, have the filter for the junk you want. I have stone and basalt because if we go in here, we have two million stone and five hundred eight thousand um, basalt. So, yeah, and I don't know exactly how much or how big uh, of a uh, area this does, but yeah. And if we get out our bow, now this hasn't changed. It just has the three uh, modes, but. Uh, the Draconic Bow, it has Sharpshooter, wait, oh crap, sharp, Sharpshooter, wait, you actually go in a lot closer now, um, then it has, ex uh, Rapid Fire, and you shoot a lot faster, and then it has Explosive, oh wait, huh, which I cannot figure out how to get to shoot, because if I just use a regular arrow, I don't know if you have to use a certain type of arrow, Draconic Evolution, I know they have the indoor arrow. Um, I don't know exactly if that's for the explosions, but yeah. See, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to use. Um, I would like to find out, and I probably will. Um, you know what? Actually, let's go look in our uh, tablet thing. I want to find that guy. Um, there's a draconic bow, draconic bow, 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 bow. Um, explosive with gunpowder. Oh, so yeah, okay. I probably should have been smart enough to do that. Let's get some gunpowder. Um, gunpowder. Let's get like five or seven. 
that I clicked five times, but I didn't. Okay, let's go up here. Well, let's just go over here and see. What the flip? Oh god, that's rapid fire. Doesn't look like it's exactly working. How much gunpowder do you need? I wonder how much it is. It's probably a lot. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, let's go back and read and see exactly what it says. Um, you can destroy an arrow slightly larger than TNT with your arrows. Devastation creative mode only. Expose the extreme... Okay. Um, gunpowder. Let's get a whole bunch of it. Let's go see what we can do. If I can ever get out of the door. Joy. <laughs> the, uh, this arm is even faster than the other one. Okay. That's not what I want. See, like, I can't shoot. And it won't blow up. I don't know. Uh, okay. I'll have to look into that. But, let's go ahead and put that back up. So, let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing today. Um... Oh, hello. Um, okay. So, what we're going to need is, um, let me go ahead. Okay, I'm tired of that chest. Okay, give me you, give me you, give me you. Okay. So, we got this. Let's put this chest down so we can put all the stuff in here. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need, um, nine inscribers. Um, well, I don't, haven't made them, so I don't know why they would be there. Um, well, so if we need eight, we need, um, 16 pistons. Um, then we need rubber. We have plenty of rubber. Um, then we need... Okay, then we'll do that, then that. Okay, so we got those, uh, nine. Then we're gonna need um uh inventory cable and what we're gonna be using is Steve's factory manager to do this. Uh we need one of these guys. Um so what do we not have? We don't have stone block. Scrapped a couple of those. It kinda lags when you do that. Oh. I don't know why I just bought up Okay, I'm so confused about what it's doing. But yeah, it's kind of nice when you do a stacks of items like ores. Yeah, why does it keep doing that? Okay, so oh, I need. Wait, I don't have glass. Wait, you're gonna tell me I don't have glass? Okay. And these will keep be kept filled. Okay. There you go. Okay, so uh, that should be making glass. Well, plenty of glass. Um, okay, so let's go in here. Inventory cable. Let's get a whole stack of them. And please stop doing that. I don't know why. Oh, so, okay. That's nice. So we, that's really all we need. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so actually we need, wait, these take, these take three, so, um, Wait, right? Yeah, three. So, acceleration cars. One, two, three. Okay, so that's two. Okay. So, um, we need some of these. Which, let me guess. Is, is it engineering? No, it's probably calculation. Which I don't, ha I don't have made yet. Okay, uh, I will do that after. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, let's do like a, whoa, hello. There's a little sucker that keeps annoying me. Oh, I didn't get any of the stone from that, that's pretty good. Okay, so it actually works though, so we know that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do. Is let's get some stone, um, right here. We will uh, do this, 
And then we, I want a diamond chest and a obsidian chest. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get some obsidian. Now we're crafting stuff before. So, um, okay. So we're gonna do this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to. Oh yeah, I need to do. Whoa. Oh yeah, five by five. Whoops. I forgot it, it changes. I'm used to just three by three and one by one. Oops. Oopsies. I didn't mean to do that. See, it didn't mind that. Oh yeah, because that's carpenter's box. Never mind. See, like it's weird. A one, two, three, four. So these two can go. Okay, so let me just see. Like, okay, wait. Never mind. Um, so what we need to do is we need to place these cables like this. If I can ever place them right. Why do I not have my mind on? Well, oh yeah, because I was making that. Dang, I made that a long time ago. Good thing those things don't despawn. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to place inscribers like this. Um, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to uh, put iron blocks. One, two, three. I said three. Okay. I'm gonna place some I'll show you why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna place some there. And then I need um gold. I need two gold blocks. Um then I'm gonna need two diamond blocks. Well you don't have to do this, it's just gonna make it easier on me um to know what I'm doing. And then um soda scoots two of these guys. Okay. So I guess we'll do sort of here. The flip. Hey man, what's up? Okay, so then we're going to do uh, this here, and then diamond chest, and then obsidian chest. We can't do that because that is that. So let me do this, and then we should. I'm hoping, I don't know if this is still the same. No, it has to be. Okay, come on. Okay, do this and then like that. Okay, so it looks like we actually have something there. Okay, then we will put that back up just for the sake of it. So here we go. This is where it gets interesting. Um, and this is actually gonna be where it takes most of our time and I'll probably cut sometimes so we're gonna create a trigger we're not gonna do anything with it and uh, if you don't know how Steve's factory manager works uh, this is gonna be a great tutorial for you um, you can um, set it to where interval like seconds uh, we don't need we don't need it because it's not really gonna do anything um, or like unless you were gonna do something else like, and we would probably do something else down the line to where we need to set that to a longer time or well, I know we will so we're gonna do a flow, okay, and then we are going to have that flow go to an input, which is going to be over here. That input is going to be, and what is input is is what is uh what this is drawing from in inventory. So we're gonna do diamond chest will be input items into it. So input west. Wait, hold on. No, I gotta make sure. We're looking uh no that'd be east okay so if you just want to know the way you're looking it doesn't matter actually but the way you're looking west so it's gonna be east um but it actually i don't think it matters uh so you could do it anyway but i'm just gonna do west west not west <laughs> i said west and uh a cool trick is that you can actually um here you know what I'm gonna let's go back up here. I'm gonna need one of these guys, one of these guys, one of these guys, one, one. Um, what else do I need? I need the actual processors too. Um, processor. So we only got one of those. Um, and then it's pure. 
Switch clips. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we're going to do input that and then whitelist. Um we're gonna do dot INV to CO inventory and then we're gonna find silicon. Okay, so this is gonna be the silicon ch uh, chain. And then we're going to do output and that's just gonna be let's do it like this so we can save as much space. Output um diamond chest I think uh can't remember exactly how I did this. East and then whitelist dot inv and with silicon, okay. Wait, no, this would not be the diamond chest. This is actually going to be the subscribers that have the iron blocks on them. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Inventories. So, what's the... What is this? Uh, what's the Y for this? It's going to be 52. Okay. So, all the subscribers at level 52, which is that one. That's not... That one... And if you hold shift, you can see what blocks are adjacent. So you can see iron, iron, and iron. Okay, so we can go ahead and break these. And, uh, yeah, let's just, I don't care about actually crafting them back. So we'll do uh, input there. And it's going to input the silicon into the press. I mean, uh, inscriber. And, it's, and then we're going to create input. And then we're going to put that there. Input. Inventories, uh, we're going to do the same three subscribers, so it's that one, uh, that one, and that one. And then we're going to do uh, West, and then no East, because it doesn't matter. Uh, it will matter when uh, down the line, and I'll show you why. But we're going to do Input Silicon, and then we're going to need, um, oh wait, we can just do dot .inv since I have it. And then do that. Okay, so it's gonna take uh, that stuff out, and then create output. Um, it's going to put the silicon um, into these bottom ones. So that's 50. So inventories. Any inscribers at level 50, which is those three. Okay, it's gonna do. We now we need to do down so it puts it it, it puts it in the bottom uh, slot of these and then we're gonna do items dot inv make sure it's whitelist do that okay then that's all we have to do so um so that will put make the silicon here and then put it down here okay so now we gotta move on to the next thing so then we're gonna create an input and we're gonna do that there. Um, we're gonna actually move that there. We're gonna create inventories that. Uh, we're gonna do uh, east, and then items. We're gonna do dot inv. Let's hope I have everything. We're gonna do that, 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 and then I don't have the diamond. Um, diamond. Okay, and then that's what, and we're gonna make it draw out all those items. Dot inv. I know it sucks to have to keep typing that every time. And then we're gonna create a flow control, and then we're gonna make it to where it only has, it splits out of five outputs. We're gonna connect those two, and then here's where it gets, uh, where you have just have to copy it, and I probably will, um cut and after I create one and then create it for all the others so we're gonna create input we're gonna create input um hey you know what I'm gonna do it like that okay so we're gonna create input over here um hello there we go make sure that it's connected input from diamond chest um, we're gonna do east activate make sure you activate all those uh, dot inv this is gonna be the uh, gold and in, in gold okay I actually need to do all this G D Q N R save input uh, silicon 
Okay, do that. And then... I don't... Okay. Okay, then input... Silly... Um... Press. No, wait. Uh, it's... No, it is press. I guess we can just do that. Okay. Okay, so, uh, then... We're gonna do in gold, and then we're gonna do output like this, and then we're just gonna do that so we can save space. Oh, there you go. Okay, <clears throat> so it's gonna the flip. Do you okay? I I'm I don't know. I just heard a weird sound. Okay, so output, and it's gonna put it's gonna go into gold, so it's gonna go into a fifty one, a level fifty one. That's that's that. 51 gold. You see how it has that gold block uh, down below? So that's our gold. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, in gold. Okay, then we're going to do west. No, east. And then we're going to do whitelist dot inv. And it's going to have to be gold. Okay. Then we're going to do input again. We're going to make it to where it inputs no wait yeah okay so where's that one with the gold okay wait I need to take this up so I can see this okay and then we're gonna do uh, east so it's pulling out of that thing then we're gonna do dot inv for whitelist and we're gonna do uh, okay I don't have it so circuit we're gonna do that okay that's gonna uh, take out that Okay, and then we're going to do output, and we're going to put that over here, might as well. Let's just go ahead and take it up. Let's take it up so we can do stuff. Okay, now it's going to uh, go to the level 50, that's that, so that's gold, and that's what is actually going to make the processor. Um, input, in, uh, input. Uh, what is it called? Circuit. Okay. And then we're going to um, do... Wait. Yeah. Okay. So now it actually uh, requires us to do up. So it actually goes in the right spot. You can do down too and then do silicon up. But since we did silicon down, I'm pretty sure. Um, I hope we did. Yeah. Okay. So up and then we're going to do dot. And I'm still sick. Kind of. My throat hurts, so I don't know what I'm talking. Oh yeah, we don't have it. So soak it, and then so we have that. Okay, so it will. Um, so what it is doing is it's taking the gold from the chest, which is the this one, and then putting it in the uh, the inscriber, which is this one, and taking it out of the inscriber, which is this one. And I know it says input. You would think that would be input it into the subscriber. It's the other way around. Um, then output would put it in the bottom subscriber. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do from there is we're going to need to do uh, input. Okay. And then we're going to need to connect those two. Input uh, level 50 gold. Okay. Then we're going to do east. And we're going to do whitelist uh, processor okay do that one okay and then we're going to that's going to draw it from that and then we're going to do output and we're going to say put it in the obsidian chest so output do inventory obsidian chest we're going to do east activate whitelist processor okay and then that should work. Okay, so that should work for those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing for uh, diamonds and pure, pure surface uh, crystals. Wait. Yeah, for diamonds and pure surface crystals. And then I'll be right back. So, yeah. See you in a second. Okay, yeah. So I am back and I have finished all of them. So I, ha I think I got all of them correct. Hopefully I do. So the next thing we're going to do, you see that we have this to where it inputs redstone. So now we're going to do another input. 
and we're going to drag that over here connect that to that inventories that uh, we're going to do east activate right list uh, dot inv we should have redstone yep okay and then we're going to output it is going to output the redstone so it's going to output them all to the level 50 um, inscribers so inscribers all three of them okay um, it's going to do east so it goes in the middle slot and then dot imp is going to be redstone okay so that should all work ah we, we're in the blood moon ah oh, that sucks okay let's do that let's throw these guys back in here um so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to need to get some Fluix cables. And then if we do, wait, okay, so facade, wait, yeah, it is a cable facade, right? Okay. Um, laboratory blocks, I can never, okay, wait, no, we don't need, okay, then we need those anchors. Hey, give me for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three, and then do that. That should connect, and then do that. Those should have power now. Those should because they're all touching each other. They should get power, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh we need the presses, and to come in here, we need to go up and get some presses. And then we need um K okay, press and then what we need to do uh to get all of them um I thought I had an extra silicon, did I not? I guess I didn't. Huh. Okay, so we need to get some iron blocks. Uh we already have three, so that's gonna cover so we just need three more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some speed upgrades in there. Don't throw it in there. So we're gonna do that. That should create an extra one. Oh, we're gonna need more, aren't we? Oh wait. Oh man, I didn't need. Oh, I don't need to make that. I just need three of those. Whoops. So we're going to do one there, one there, these top three are going to be silicon. I had it... Wait. So, um... Okay, wait, hold on. So, okay, so it's going to be this. Which one is touching the... Uh, inventories. Okay, so I don't know where that is. Diamond. Certus, I think, is the one touching us, right? Or touching the diamond chest. Which one is touching the diamond chest? Oh, that's wrong. One. None of them are. Okay. That's weird. I think I had it. Well, let's just see. Okay, so this that goes in there. Okay, and then diamond will go in there. Okay, so we had. Okay, take that out. Engineering. We had calculation and then logic. Okay, so there we go. That sucks. Oops. I want to get these acceleration codes, but um, if we just get a diamond, uh, gold, and then silicon, if we get three stacks of those, and then redstone, three stacks of those, of that, and then pure source codes, if we just get a stack of that, and we throw it all in here, it should automatically go to the right place and start making our processors. Yep, and since it's slow, 
Oh no, what did I not do? And okay, so it's not taking out of that. Uh, in processors, so this should be the one. Oh, yeah, maybe that's one. Wait. Huh? What am I doing? Wait, hold on. I think this is supposed to be that one. No. In withdraws it. Oh, okay. It's this one. Inventories. Oh, yeah. That's one. Okay. There we go. Now it's doing it. Okay. That should speed it up. Um, even though I need... And then let's see. So it is working. Okay. So there we go. We have it working. That's nice. That's good. We need some fruits, crystals. So then let's speed up this one and let's speed up that one. Okay. So we should by the time this is all done get 64 of each, which is awesome. So we have actually automated <clears throat> making that. So that's freaking awesome. So uh, I will be using Steve's factory manager for a couple things and I will show you guys what those things are down the line. Oh don't be going there. Um, okay. I was confused about why that went through, but so those should be all running at max speed. Oh no. Oh wait, yeah, it's still pulling out. It's just having backup. Okay. So yeah. So that's freaking awesome. I'm gonna be using Steve's factory manager for polybotania and a couple other things. I don't know exactly yet. But I know I'll be using it uh some more. So Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.